good morning everyone myself dr takhiullah uh, so today i'm going to explain about de broglie hypothesis and division german experiment so as you know uh, this is uh, the slide about your syllabus according to jntu r22 regulation so this is your syllabus actually uh, it is mentioned here only about division and german experiment actually before uh, learning this division and german experiment you should know about the de broglie hypothesis so i will start with the de broglie hypothesis you should understand that then only you can understand what is division and german experiment okay so i am going to start uh, this is the introduction part i am going to introduce about uh, the de broglie hypothesis so i will take this color today and dotted line okay this is the he is the scientist uh, the name lois de broglie he is a scientist uh, in 1924 he extended the wave particle parallelism see in the previous chapters we have uh, discussed about the wave and the particle nature of the light okay so he have extended this parallelism not only to the light but also to the fundamental particle like electron proton and neutron why because nature loves symmetry if light can exist in two ways that is uh, wave and particle nature so why not the material particle like electron also should exist in two ways that is it should also exist in a form of wave means electron should have the wave nature because electron is a particle everybody knows electron is a particle so electron should have wave nature also so he has he has given this suggestion just it's a just suggestion later on the scientist have conducted the experiment and they have proved the wave nature of electron which we are going to learn even now the this the application of this part is uh, scientists have developed the electron microscope okay so now once again i'm going to read this paragraph louis de broglie in 1924 extended the wave particle parallelism of optics to all fundamental entities of physics such as electron proton neutron atom and molecule etc okay so now he put means de broglie put a bold suggestion that correspondence between wave and particle should not confined only to electromagnetic radiation so this uh, this uh, between the correspondence between wave and particle should not confined to electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation means the light or uh, sunlight or no ordinary light or electromagnetic radiation as we have uh, confirmed we have proved that light can exist in two ways so this correspondence should not exist only in in case of electromagnetic wave but it should also be valid for material particle okay material particle means particle like electron so it should also be valid for material particle like radiation matter matter also has dual characteristics okay so this is this is the suggestion given by the de broglie now for example uh, first uh, point uh, what i am going to uh, explain is about the radiation radiation uh, already we have discussed in the previous chapters but uh, this chapter also i'm going to discuss little about it uh, radiation including visible light infrared ultraviolet x rays etc behave as a wave in experiment based on interference diffraction see why we had we are discuss, uh, discussing interference here because uh we are going to use a single slit experiment or double slit experiment or even in, in for interference also you have to use two waves uh, from the same position 
so it is possible for a wave we can split for example if, if you can take a single source of light you can split into uh, two slits then the interface pattern will appear on the board so you can have two points or two sources of the same light at different position at the same time whereas for part particle it is not possible to occupy two positions at the same time okay so this is due to the fact that these phenomena require presence of two waves at the same position at the same time you can have two waves at the same position at the same time obviously it is difficult for two particle to occupy the same position at the same time right so it is very difficult you cannot have particle at uh, same time you cannot split the particle so thus we conclude that radiation behave like a wave so this first point in the second point we are going to conclude where radiation is a particle okay so now in this point the first point we have concluded radiation is a wave now Planck's quantum theory was successful in explaining black body radiation photoelectric effect quantum com, uh, compton effect etc and uh, had clearly established we have already established in the photoelectric effect that's uh, matter uh, i mean radiation behave like a particle established that radiant energy in in its interaction with matter behave as though it consists of corpuscles okay here radiation interacts with the matter in a form of photon or quanta thus we conclude that radiation behave like a particle see in the first point uh, we have concluded radiation is a, a wave and in this point we have concluded radiation like a particle actually what actually it is wave particle dualism it is ha it's having a dual nature radiation does sometime behave as a wave and at some other time as a particle that is it has a wave particle dualism here it should be remember remembered that radiation cannot exhibit its particle and wave property simultaneously see uh, remember one thing uh, if you want uh, if, if depending upon the situation the experiment and the treatment if it is behaving like a wave it will not behave like a particle now if it is behaving like a particle it will not behave like a wave simultaneously at the same time it cannot exist is dual nature it it sometime it will behave like a particle sometime it behave like a wave simultaneously it is not possible in case of radiation similarly we are going to see for the particle like electron now now after that he suggested he means here it is he is a de broglie he suggested that there should be an intimate connection between wave and corps corpuscles not only in case of radiation but also in case of matter okay matter means our material particle like uh, electron proton neutron right so so a moving particle has always got a wave associated with it the particle controlled by the wave in manner similar to that which photon is controlled by the wave see in case of uh, light the photon is controlled by the wave so in case of material particle the electron also should be controlled by the wave okay so now <clears throat> his suggestion was based in the fact on the fact that nature loves symmetry because nature is a symmetrical nature so see here it should be like uh, the process should be uh, reversible like that okay so if radiation if radiation like light can act as a wave sometime and like particle at uh, other time at some other time then the material particle like example uh, electron neutron etc should act as a wave at some other point now uh, according to de broglie hypothesis according to de broglie hypothesis a moving particle a moving particle with a wave associated with a wave which is known as de broglie wave always whatever may be the particle if it is moving it will be associated with the wave for example if you are, if you are throwing a, a football it it will move like a wave but you cannot observe its wavelength because the body is very large 
Now, if the velocity is very high and if you are observing for the far distance, if you observe carefully, that football will be held, provided that the length the distance should be very large and the velocity should be, velocity should be very high. So it will be move like a wave. Similarly, the cricket ball also. If you have, if you throw on the cricket ball with very high velocity and you observe from the far distance, it will move like a wave. But it is uh, not observable to uh, right now because we are using in a small distance and with low velocity. Similarly, if you move an electron with a very high velocity, the electron also will move like a wave. It will have its own wavelength. Okay, so all moving particle, whatever may be the particle, it will be associated with the wave. It motion will be in a form of wave. So whose wavelength? Okay, see once again I'm going to because our chapter main topic is this only. According to de Broglie hypothesis, a moving particle associated with a wave which is known as de Broglie wave. The name is given because it is uh, uh, suggested by the de Broglie. We have so, uh, we are telling it as a de Broglie wave. So the wavelength of that wave. So the wavelength of matter wave is given by lambda is equal to h by mv where h is Planck's constant m is the mass and v is the velocity now we know that uh, mass into velocity is momentum from our intermediate knowledge everybody knows that so here where m is the mass of the material particle v is the velocity and p is the momentum and h is Planck's constant whose value is 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joules second okay so now once again de Broglie concept of matter wave leads to Bohr's principle of complementarity okay complementary see it's actually it is uh, not contradictory it is complementary so if uh, light have dual nature the ma matter should also have dual nature so complementary this this principle states that the two different views that is wave and particle are complement rather than contradiction of each other okay this is also one of the suggestion right now uh, here de, de broglie concept is the basis for the development development of um, quantum wave mechanics or quantum mechanics okay so this is the basis for development of quantum mechanics please okay so once again here uh, the de broglie concept leads to the uncertainty principle uh, which is we are going to discuss in the coming uh, lectures it is there in your syllabus according to jntu r22 regulation in the uh, immediate uh, lecture i will explain about that also so here at this point uh, here de broglie concept will lead to the uncertainty principle what is that i am going to explain in detail about okay right now uh, right now it's enough for this uh, the material the material particle exhibits particle nature as well as wave nature but the two nature cannot be exhibited simultaneously as in case of light i have already told in like similarly in case of material particle also the two natures at the same time cannot exist okay or cannot be exhibited okay so this leads to the uncertainty principle okay i will explain this uncertainty principle in coming lectures right now the main topic here it is the matter wave matter waves what is matter wave actually the wave nature associated with the material particle is known as matter wave Material particle means the particle which are obtained from the material, whatever may be the material, you will have an item, you will have electron, you will have proton and whatever it may be. So the, the wave nature of the material particle that is known as the matter waves. Okay. <coughs> De Broglie's hypothesis. Once again, we are just uh, uh, review this just like a review. Okay. Wave and particle are the modes of energy propagation. So the these are the modes like a wave wave nature is one one mode and particle nature another mode. So there, there are so many modes of different things. So one these are the just like a modes of energy propagation. Universe is composed of matter and radiation. Yeah, it's the true. There are so many radiations from the outer space and there there are so much of matter composed. Uh, universe is composed of matter and radiation. Right. Since nature loves symmetry, matter and wave must be symmetry. 
because everything like reversible uh, like if you uh, cool the water it will become ice or if you heat the water it will become a liquid then gas then water vapor and likewise then reversible circuit see if everything is uh, symmetric now if uh, radiation like light which is a wave can exist like a particle like for example one second if radiation like if radiation like light which is a wave can act as a particle then materials like particles material like particle can also act as a wave in some time okay so it's a reverse so matter has dual wave particle nature so according to de broglie hypothesis lambda is equal to h by p or lambda is equal to h by mv so the energy of the particle with con uh, quantum concept is equal to e is equal to h nu we have already seen uh, in the first uh, uh, lecture uh, planck's quantum theory so we know what is e is equal to h nu right de broglie wavelength in terms of energy i think i have uh, give given for two times right so this was our then now next yeah de broglie waves and wavelength we are going to derive the relation for that okay see from planck's theory we have already done this e is equal to h nu right so now according to the einstein's theory this is one of the most famous equation e is equal to mc square right now we are going to compare these two these two relation so h nu and mc square so h nu is equal to mc square so we will write this frequency nu as a c by lambda okay rearrange this just rearrange take lambda this side mc will come this side and you will get this equation or the c c c square and c will get cancelled you will remain with this equation right so now uh, this is uh, about the light okay now this is the velocity of light now if you come uh, just uh, we use the material particle h by p or h by mv this is for the particle where p is the momentum of the particle okay you are getting lambda is equal to h by mv this is for the de broglie wavelength for the material particle now de broglie wavelength in terms of energy so we know that everybody knows right energy kinetic energy is equal to half mv square now you can multiply by m on both the side here multiply by m and here also you multiply so now rearrange this two will go this side this two will go come this side and mv square is equal to 2 em okay so uh, uh, apply the square roots on both the sides then this will cancel square root will be cancelled by the uh, root and uh, then <coughs> you will get this one m m mv into root over 2 em so now you are going to substitute in equation 4 what is equation 4 this is your equation for h by mv in place of mv you are going to put this 2 em so this is your equation in terms of energy okay de broglie uh, wavelength in terms of energy right so uh, uh, the university people may ask the problems uh, based on this please please uh, those who are watching these videos uh, comment and uh, give me suggestion if you want me to solve the problem for these topics i will make another lecture uh, for all the topics I will solve the problem which uh, frequently asked and the previously asked and expected questions uh, problem solving I will make a video for these topics so at least you give me the suggestion comments and like that and I, I will uh, request all of you to please subscribe the channel most of you are watching but not subscribing so uh, I uh, suggest or you suggest me about the problem solving so i have to make a lot of work for that because it's not very easy for writing equation on the slide it's very difficult for writing a running matter like uh, you can type but for equation part it, it will take a lot of time it's possible but it's very difficult okay so suggest me please who are those who are watching regularly please okay now the next topic here is de broglie wavelength associated with electrons see specifically we are going to discuss about the electron only electron is a particle everybody knows an electron is having a mass an electron is having a charge it's a very perfect particle right so now de broglie wavelength associated with electrons let us consider the case of an electron of rest mass m 
see there is difference between rest mass and the move, um, moving mass in different okay uh, <clears throat> so it and a charge e it's having a charge which is accelerated by the potential in volts v volts okay so you have to accelerate what is the process of that i have i think i explained now i will explain see how can you accelerate the electron what you have to do you have to heat the cathode uh, then the heated cathode will emit the electron so for that electron you have to uh, apply the positive potential on the other side that positive potential will attract the electron if you give the high voltage it will it will be get accelerated if with high speed it will travel towards the positive electron then you have to uh, because the filament will emit the divergent beam so you have to focus using uh, magnetic focusing or whatever whatever may be the process so then you have to make a collimated beam of fine pencil of electron then it will strike on the fluorescent screen then what we see uh, previous uh, tvs in uh, black and white tv and the color tv so it uh, color tv will have three electron guns and the black and white tv have uh, one electron gun uh, nowadays we are having lcds and leds and uh, these are these are the things so this electrons uh, will have its energy and whatever maybe so the electron can be obtained and it, it can be accelerated to the high velocity so then the energy of that electron half m square half m naught v square is gi in given in electron volts okay right so now rearrange this equation take the v outside this v and take uh, remove the square and you will get this equation so velocity of electron is uh, root over 2 a e volts by m naught so mass of the electron so then uh, we know that lambda is equal to h by m naught v now we have this value v, v value from this this equation substitute the v value and simplify please just uh, simplify because this uh, this will become two, two root times then one of it will cancel and it will become h by 2 e v m naught you will get this equation just work out on this it's very easy it's not very difficult part so now we know the values of h 2 is a number e we know the uh, charge of the electron we know the mass of the electron uh, everybody knows everybody is intelligent okay so uh, substitute the values of h uh, uh, L charge of electron, mass of electron, V, V as it is. So you will get this value. So lambda in Armstrong, 12.26 by root over V. So this V is a voltage. Now if I give the V as 100 volts, so square of 100 uh, will be 10 square, then square square and root will go, it will be divided by 10 and you will get this value. So 1.22 Armstrong. So means if you uh, give the voltage 10 volts to the positive voltage to uh, electron x it will be accelerated to uh, high velocity so who it will be moving with the wavelength it will move like a wave whose wavelength is 1.226 okay so this equation 6 shows that the wavelength of wavelength associated with an electron accelerated to 100 volts is 1.226 so we have proved that electron is behaving like a wave with the theoretically experimentally we are going to prove with the help of division and germer experiment that's why i have told that uh, before learning the division and germer experiment we should know the de broglie hypothesis i don't know why these university people didn't mentioned in the syllabus it should be there in okay now de broglie wave velocity of de broglie now the velocity what what is the velocity of wave we are going to uh, just confirm or we are going to determine the wave velocity u is given by the following expression so uh, the velocity of wave can be expressed as frequency into lambda okay so, okay where uh, v is the frequency of the matter wave lambda is the lambda right no lambda is the wavelength so according to the uh, planck's theory e is equal to h nu we know already and from einstein relation e is equal to mc square so comparing these two and taking frequency outside so you are taking frequency and you will get this equation so for matter wave already we know lambda is equal to h by mv so we'll go check okay so substituting in equation this equation here see u is equal to frequency to lambda the lambda value and frequency value we are substituting here so this uh, they simplify this uh, m m 
m will go h h will go so here we'll get uh, this v and c square c square is the velocity of land v is the velocity of material particle where v is the speed of material particle which is less than the speed of light right it's a fact because uh, material particle cannot move uh, greater than the velocity of light so it will be always less if this, this is lesser means is this is not it, it, it's it's in the square and it is less so definitely if you uh, substitute here thus the wave velocity can also be expressed in terms of wavelength <coughs> So here frequency e by h and how you are just going to substitute all the values energy value and uh, you are simply uh, yeah this uh, energy can be given with in electron volts okay so half m e square is equal to in electron volts okay this half m e square can be given in electron just before uh, the I have in terms of energy I, I will have one second I will just show you just this half m e square is equal to electron volts so one minute yeah right so e by e v by h now multiplying and dividing the right and hand side of equation 4 by half to m so just multiplying and dividing by half to m so sim just simplify please some of the terms will be get uh, cancelled and you will get h by 2 m and uh, 1 by lambda square so here lambda already we have see here this lambda is equal to h by root over 2 mv so you can have because it is in the square so in place of square you are going to keep this one so and substituting the value of frequency and the lambda the lambda values this and the frequency values this and substitute here most of the things will get cancelled whatever the things will get cancelled you will get this equation 5 so equation 3 and equation 5 are the different form of wave velocity of de Broglie wavelength see equation 3 this is the equation 3 this is the equation 3 and this is the equation 5 equation 3 and 5 are different forms of wave velocity of de Broglie wave it may be asked in your examples so if for in if he asked the velocity wave velocity in terms of lambda if lambda is given then you have can use this uh, relation okay now if if they give this uh, material velocity then you can find the wave velocity with this with this relation okay so different way there may be a problem based on this concept please in your exam now this uh, topic i will come uh, complete or i will take in coming uh, lecture i will stop uh, at this point because along with this uh, I will take a division and German experiment okay thanks for watching so please uh, suggest me uh, type uh, the comment uh, uh, see you can suggest my uh, way of uh, lecture I may be making lot of mistakes and maybe I'm going very fast if you want uh, me to be slow or whatever whatever the negative comment whatever it may be just suggest if you want me to uh, solve the problem for you I will solve and make a lecture for that also Thank you.